Alright guys, I am back. As you saw in the introduction part there, I'm going to show you today how to convert your TMC into a first strike shooting monster. Before you start, you should know that this mod will obviously uh, be cutting into your TMC. We're going to be modifying it, the warranty is going to be void. But do not worry, if you do it right, you'll be able to shoot first strikes, round ball with TMC mags still working in this, no T15 support for this particular mod. You can do that, but that will be another set of mods that you'll need to do and we're not going to cover that. We're going to cover how to shoot first strikes out of TIPX style mags like the Zeta mags or something else I'm going to show you here, uh, not T15 mags. Second thing to note is that there's a little bit of skill involved in doing this mod. There's a couple things to do and you need to do it right. You need to take your time. You need to be careful not to hurt yourself. I'm not responsible if you do hurt yourself or if you completely ruin your marker. This is something that you are going to do at your own risk and will. And uh, if you do it right, it will be awesome because it works super good. It shoots first strikes. You'll be playing against people with MG100s and T15s and all that stuff and they will they will be wondering how you're shooting first strike so accurately with your team suit. So with that being said, let's look at everything you're going to need to do this mod. Starting from the right here, we're going to be doing the polished internals. So we're going to need some sandpaper, 1000 grit and 200 grit about. I have a brush here for cleaning off all the metal shavings. I got a rag for protecting your marker. I've got some eye protection and some gloves, very important. Some oil for the reassembly. Here I got a couple of uh, examples of bits that we could use to cut into the metal that we're going to need. And uh, the best tool for the trade was the sanding disc. Um, I have this also a little sanding bit, but this was definitely superior. Are you going to see that? This little wheel as well could be useful, but this one again is much better. We got some first strikes for testing later. We have here our adapter for the Zeta mags. In this case, it's not the Zeta mag adapter. It's an adapter for another type of mag that I'll show you. But that's from MWR and it will help us guide the shape that we're going to cut into our breech later. Here we have parts of the... Want to buy a TMC with me? Here we got parts of the SPI kit. We're not going to need everything, but we are going to need the striker because we're going to use a lock bolt. It's a special striker for first strike rounds only. And I have a, a bolt here for first strike rounds that's tapered. Here I have the original lock bolt. I have a file for finishing purposes. I have a Sharpie for marking what we need to cut and a hacksaw. Finally, we have a couple Allen keys here that we're going to need to disassemble this TMC. That is pretty much stock, it just has a different airline stock and a, and a grip here, but it's pretty much a stock internal TMC. Then we're going to have this piece de resistance. So for our project, we're going to run these mags here, but you can run Zeta mags for now. These are not released yet, that's why I say that, but these are far superior to the Zeta mags. Our adapter for Zeta mags, it does the trick, but the mags never stayed really secure. They were kind of friction fit, so if you pull them or if you're shooting a lot, they're gonna eventually wiggle themselves free and that could cause some problems. These mags have a dedicated latch on the back that will fit in a new adapter. It's a very secure latch. They're also TIPX compatible with all the different 
latches that we've put onto this design. It's a 10 rounder, straight mag. Uh, we're also working on an eight round version. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna use for this project here today. And let's get started. <laughs> all right, the first step will be pretty straightforward. We're gonna remove the grip and all the screws that come with it. If you have a standard grip, there's a, another screw on the other side and a few more down here. So there's gonna be four screws on the grip. Remove that. I've already removed the pin for the back, but it's actually not necessary. I'm gonna remove all that for now. All the accessories, I remove the four screws for the clamshell body. And I'm gonna put it in fire and pull back the trigger so that nothing comes flying out when I pull this open. Pull a little bit on the charging handle. I'm gonna need this and everything else we're pretty much gonna remove. Keep all the parts together here. So this is just a special airline that we have here. Remove the charging handle. Remove the trigger. Watch for the springs. I'm gonna remove the power tube and the bolt. the pins for the sear and the spring, the sear itself, the rear hammer comes out, the two last pins, and whatever this is called. I've got pretty much an empty shell now of my TMC. Parts aside, we won't need them for now. And then we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna be doing here. So as you can see, the first strikes won't fit there. It's a round shape, so what we're gonna have to do is open that up create like an extra, you know, a, a straight section here, and then go up, and then we're gonna smooth out the front here so that the first strikes nipples will, will not snag onto that. So to get our shape properly defined here, we're gonna use our adapter and a marker to cut and draw some lines. So the adapter will fit in something like this. You can see at the front, it matches pretty well, but we will remove a little bit more of the front here at the end. But we're gonna go in there and draw the section that we need to remove down here. Can't really see that, but I can see what I'm gonna be removing from about here, all the way to the corner there, and then straight up here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. that's more obvious on this side so everything like this and then we're gonna make a straight line up here pretty much till the middle this all needs to go Now that we know what we're going to be removing, let's put our Dremel tool on and let's get to grinding. Alright, so based on the tools that you're going to have, the, the way you're going to cut into this might vary a little bit. So based on the space that I've got, I think that this cutting wheel here is a pretty good start to get my line going down. I'm going to cut into this to start, but it's going to block me. The tool itself is going to block me from making a straight line down here. So I could try and find another angle and maybe go in this way and grind it gently into a straight line. I think that would be the best strategy. I could also use this guy right here, which is more straight, and then just kind of attack it from this side and remove. We'll try both methods on each side and we'll see which one goes better. So remember, I got eye protection.
Right, so I think this longer bit will help me get into there a little bit straighter. So I'm about halfway through right now. Kind of hard to tell, but I removed a little bit more than half of the way. But it gets thicker down here as it rounds out. So I'm just going to keep going like that until I have that whole shape done. Alright, so as you can see, I'm mostly sanding with the edge of the cutter more than I'm actually cutting. So I'm actually just moving forward and back, just removing a little bit more material every time. And I'm almost there, as you can see, it's almost straight now with the rounded part of the breech. So I'm going to keep going until the rounded part is smooth into this flat surface. So I have about maybe a millimeter left to remove before it's flat, but I'm going a little bit slower now. I don't want to groove anything and also don't want to hit my rotary tool on anything else as I get into the breech here, into the depths of that. I might be hitting this other piece on the other side there, so I'll be careful with that. not bad you see that I removed everything that I had marked and I have a pretty much flat surface now from the rounded part into the V shape let's put our mag adapter here and see if anything still sticks out you can see at the bottom there there's still a bit of material that needs to be removed but that's good I didn't go too far and I can just flatten out that section off still see a little bit of material sticking out so uh, I didn't mention but this file might be very useful for finishing this off here it's a straight file with three sides uh, maybe if you have one of these that's even better let's see if I can get a lot. and also do a little bit of an angle like this It'll help that first strike go in there. Be careful not to scuff anything. We're gonna be polishing that after, so it's not too bad if there's a little bit of a scuff in the end. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's move on to the other side. I'm gonna try the other device here that I have, but I think this method is probably the best. But if you have this, maybe you're going to want to use that one. Alright, I should have been using a rag underneath the body to not damage the other side. So please use something to not scrap your already scrapped paint. If it's a pristine TMC, then I don't know, go out there and play with it more. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so let's try it like this. Now, I think this is not a good way to do this. It's not precise enough, and when it gets into the corner, I'm just digging into it at a weird angle. So I'm going to go back to trust the old disc here. All right, let's put them together and see how they look like. All right, you can see how sandy this job is. 
with metal flakes so just be wary of that wear a mask if you have issues with that so I think I'm not quite straight the uh, left or the right shell needs a little bit more sanding the front part and then we're gonna clean it and check it with the adapter so by the front part I just mean part of the circle that comes to the front here we're gonna smooth that out into the body Let's clean it up and I'll be right back so that you can see it together with the adapter. All right, at this point our breach is pretty much done. You can see it's not quite straight, but it's not gonna be a problem. The adapter is gonna fill in and straighten it out. It just needs to let the first strike through. And then at the front, we've rounded out the part where the nipple might catch on, so there's no way that it will catch. Let's put the adapter and check it out. What it looks like with that adapter in. Alright, so the mags uh, or the rounds do feed. They go in there. Not a very good test because they flip before they get to the breach. Sorry about that, it's kind of difficult to test at this point, but. If I really just line it up there, it, it, it will fit perfectly through. So let's move on to the next step, which will be to cut this power tube. When we put the power tube in its spot, you'll see now that it goes past the point where the D shape of the first strike was made. And it's just a bit long. If the first strike comes down in there, it's just gonna hit the power tube and flip instantly to this position here. So you can see about how much you need to cut it, but cut it a little bit more than that. Maybe one millimeter more than what it's sticking out from. So let's grab our marker and do a little line for that. So I'm gonna cut mine about here. about there so it's not just a little bit inside of this line here let's uh, use our hacksaw for that all right so I kind of have a big hacksaw metal hacksaw here for this there's probably other ways that you could do this you just want to remove some length to it I'm gonna make sure to cut as straight as I can but we'll finish it up with some sandpaper anyway that up we're gonna test it again so that looks about right to me there's a little exacto tool here to just deburr the inside it's pretty straight too Definitely not straight, but it'll do the trick. It's a little bit off. That's it for that. 
All right, we're actually pretty much done with the conversion at this point. Uh, what we're gonna do just to make this TMC work a little bit better is do the polishing mod. So if you don't need that, you've already done it, just skip ahead. And I'll see you in a second when we're gonna assemble and we're gonna test this thing. It's important to get this little ledge up here as well when you do this mod so that the bolt, um, whatever this part is called, will be smooth up there as well. Oh, that is such a big difference from the standard PMC. Alright, so the mod is complete, everything is super clean, and it's ready to assemble. So for that we're going to need to put all of these little bits that I've laid out. First we're going to put in all the pins. And we're going to put this here with the golden spring. Here's the SPI bolt that comes with the SPI kit. It's a first strike compatible bolt. You can see it's tapered at the end. That will fit nicely inside the first strike round. And also it will prevent the next round in the, in the magazine to get caught when it shoots it and then potentially flipping the round. So having it tapered means that it'll skip right past it and not interfere with this one, the next one. Air tube is left. This will be a little bit different depending on your air setup.
the last piece will be to put on a stock. For now, I'm gonna put on this stubby. Gotta line up the pin in there. Adapter. Our mag should fit in there just fine. Click. Straight out. Okay, so what we're hitting now, we're dealing with the bolt striking the second round, which won't happen with the lock bolt because this round is pushed up actually more than it should be. So if I push this one down a little bit, it'll fire just fine. So what I'll do now before I shoot the other ones is put in this lock bolt. This came with the SPI kit. It's a lock bolt striker that does not have a detent. You don't really need it for the first strike rounds. It'll stay in place just fine without a, without a detent. This actively pushes against the rounds, just giving it enough force to stay in the chamber, even when you're running. All right, there should be four more rounds. And then the lock bolt will engage. from cycling. That looks like a pretty good test to me. I'm gonna disarm this. Don't do this with air in your marker, please. And there you have it. That seems to work, at least for feeding. Let's go see if it shoots. I'm back here with this fully modded FSR ready TMC some air in this bad boy and I'll show you how easy it is to shoot some first strikes out of this thing now. So I got here some first strikes in these MWR Mag Force 10 mags. It's a straight mag, uh, 10 for first strikes and 11 round ball. Um, it's a pretty cool design, it's coming out soon, uh, but here it is. I'm gonna put my adapter back in. I'm gonna show you why you need to crank the bolt first when you're using first strikes. You get a dry fire after an empty mag like this, and you put in your next mag, the round is going to hit the tip of that bolt in there, and it'll actually flip the round. So always charge first when you're using the lock bolt specifically in first place. That's one empty. That's a new one here. Charge first. And now, the cool thing is, I can still shoot round ball. I just remove this, let it hang like this in a game where I need both. And I can have a TMC mag with some round ball here. In this case, I can charge after because the round is just going to go in whatever. Empty as well. Lock bolt engaged. And that's it, guys. It took about an hour to do everything in total. You don't have to do the polishing, maybe 30 minutes, it's all done. You just need the SBI kit, a lock bolt if you want it, and the uh, adapter for these magazines. And then of course the magazines, they're something else. These are gonna come out soon, uh, but you could shoot first strikes out of Zeta mags with our current Zeta adapter, that's possible. But it is a different adapter in terms of the latch that it uses. All right guys, I think that's it for this video. It's been a pleasure to show you guys this mod, the process and everything I've learned in doing it. I hope that it'll bring your marker to a new level and that you're gonna fall in love with it again. As you know, it's not a super expensive marker and you shouldn't be afraid to tinker with it and turn it into this 
first strike swinging monster thank you so much for watching uh, again the mags are going to be coming out pretty soon when the final pre-production steps for them when we will drop them you will know on social media so follow us at mwr paintball on facebook and instagram as well as please share your thoughts on this mod if you do it share some comments below or some posts on facebook and let us know how it goes for you i really hope to see a lot more of these mods coming out in the near future and these mags i hope are gonna bring that to reality because it's a lot easier to mod the tmc just for the breach and the power tube as you saw it took less than an hour to do everything and you're shooting first strikes a lot easier than t15 mag conversion because you're going to be doing a lot more work on the body of the tmc itself and it's just easier to mess up this has like not a lot of failure points uh, so that's it i hope you enjoyed um, please stick around and i'll be coming out with new stuff pretty soon see ya